So you want to be able to make labels for your students' artwork. There's a really fast way to do this that will allow you to generate the labels for um, a mailing label or whatever size label you want. Um, you can take this and use it with any of the Avery templates. Um, you'll need three things. You'll need Aspen Open, you'll need Word, and you'll need Excel um, to do all of this stuff. So we're going to start off with Aspen. So if I have my Aspen page up, I'm going to go to the gradebook section of Aspen, and I need to choose the class that I want. So I go to my class list here, and I'm just going to do digital photography. I click on the roster tab over here on the left, and it gives me this generic um, field that's generated every time you open Aspen. What I'm going to actually do is show you a way to customize this so we can download the information out of Aspen, have it in Excel, and use it in Word to make the labels. So I'm going to go up here to the Manage Fields, um, this little calendar grid looking thing. I'm going to click on that, and where it says Manage Field Sets, I'm going to click on that first because I have to set up a field. Once you've set this up, you'll never have to do it again. You just choose it from the list, and I'll show you that in a minute. But to start, we need to make a new one. So we're going to click on New. It brings up this. We're going to call this uh, Art Labels. And again, you'll have to do this just because I did it doesn't mean it will show up for all of you. It's an individual person basis. Over here, you're going to have all the information that you could put in that for each of the students. So uh, let me change that. All right. So all I really need here is I need their first name and then I need their last name. And the selected fields will show up over here once you've double clicked on them or you can hit the add button. Either way is fine. You want it first name first, last name second. Hit save. And then you'll see that it showed up on the list. So I'm going to close this. Now when I come into my class list, if I want to just get it so I can download the information quick, I come back up here to the, the field set and I go to art labels and you'll see it changes. All the information that's there is their roster status which won't show up and their first and last name. Great, so we have the information we need. Now you're going to print this and it totally doesn't make sense but you're going to use the print menu. You're going to come up here to the little printer, click print, then choose print to CSV and what that's going to do is download a ex generic Excel file that you'll be able to use. So, once you've downloaded that, you're done with Aspen for now. Here's that CSV file because you just need to know where your computer's downloading to. I'm going to rename this just because it gives it a um, generic code when it does it, and this will be easier for me to find. If you open that, it'll come up in Excel, and you'll see that I have the first and last names here. All right. Um, so, we've generated the list that we need. Um, and I'll show you why we need to have this separated like that. Um, you really don't need Excel other than to have opened it once, but you need Excel open because Word will need it in a minute. Um, so I've generated my CSV file. Um, now I'm going to go into Word, and I'm going to create, you just need a blank Word document, and then up under Tools, you need to find a Mail Merge Manager, which will bring up this little window. On a PC, I'm not exactly sure where it is, so you may have to search for help for Mail Merge. But once you have Mail Merge, you're going to create a new, and we're going to do Labels. It brings up the label list. If you've done labels before where you've done them by hand, you can know how to do this. Basically, Avery Standard Numbers, as long as you know what your label numbers are, you find that label number. For in this case, I'm going to use the 5160, which is the generic envelope address label and I'm going to hit OK. So it's generated a blank form. You'll see that it's got all of these next records in there. We're setting up an automated system here to fill out everything. So then what I need to do is I need to go to select recipients list and I'm going to go get the list. It's already made so we're going to open a data source. When you bring that up it's going to show you your computer. You need to go to wherever you have that file. So in my case it's on my desktop and then open that file. It's going to give you this generic thing off of CSV because it needs to know how you want to handle it. You want to choose whatever the default is. I'm using a Mac, so it's the, the OS default here. MS-DOS should be your default on your PC. I hit OK. Then this second window comes up, and it's asking me what fields do I want to actually put in the sample label, and it shows me the sample label here. So all I need to do is go in, click on that, 
and tell it what order I want these to come in. Here's the deal though, you've got to think about your spacing. So first name, last name, I need a space between them. Make sure you have that or it will put the names together. I click on last name. So I've entered first name, then last name. I hit, uh, so, and then after that I can put in uh, the class name. If you want to put it in here, you can also add it later. Hit OK, and you'll see that it is now generated that first name, last name, and every single one of these. Again, you're not changing anything in all of those. This is simply a programming language that's going to program all of your labels for you. Then what I need to do now that I have my labels in is I need to format, and I'm only worrying about getting the first label to look right and how I want it. So I can go, I can change my lettering to whatever I want. Um, you know, if I don't like the Helvetica new or whatever came in, you can always change your, your layout um, on the first label. Don't waste your time doing any other label but the first one because I'll show you a quick way to do it. So let's say that I, I really love Calibri. That's the one that I need to have. So I can change and format everything that I want, however I want it. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to play around here until I get what I want. Um, and let's change that back just for the fun of it. Okay, so I have everything how I want it. Obviously, it says first name, last name. That's not what the label is going to look like when you're done. Um, but we need to get that formatting exactly how we want because then what I'm going to do is come back over here and where it says get recipient list, there's this little picture here that fills in the items to complete the list. If I click on that, it's actually gone and reformatted all the other labels. Again, when you're looking at this, it looks wrong. Don't worry. When we merge this, it's going to make everything look fine. All right, so I have my label set up. I have everything ready to go. Um, now I can come down here. I can skip over the filtering of recipients and the preview results thing because I know that this is going to work. And I am simply going to, on my little box here, I'm going to tell it to merge to a new document. That way I can save this document and reuse it. If you do to the print, it's going to send it directly to the printer without giving you a warning. So I'm going to merge to the new document. I click on that and Word has actually gone into that CSV file and it's pulled every kid's name from Excel and it has added their name to the list so you can see now I have all of digital photography in there now I can go print this just like regular labels if I want to save the labels I can delete the information out of these empty ones but this gives me your labels generated in a matter of seconds that you don't ever have to do it again I can save this just like a regular word document bring it up and reprint it as many times as I want so that's making labels um, using uh, Word, Excel, and your Aspen account.